Thanks, coach. Hey, happy new year, fam. Yeah, 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 I know it's July. But now that NFL training camps have started, it seems like a whole new year. The good things about training camp is every team has hope. No matter how close your team was last year, no matter how bad your team was last year, there's optimism for this upcoming season. Take, for example, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Fans are hoping new coach Lovey Smith can bring back the glory days. For the Jacksonville Jaguars, fans are hoping UCF's Blake Bortles becomes that franchise quarterback. Even Miami Dolphin fans are hoping another year in Coach Joe Philbin's system do wonders for this squad. You see, whether your team is a lovable loser like Cleveland, sorry coach, or overhyped every year like Dallas, there is hope. Everyone is still undefeated, so everyone still has hope. Happy New Year, folks, and let the camps begin. That's my report. Follow me on Twitter at RickBrown91. For insights, this is Rick Brown. Back to you, Coach. This is Billy, and I'm doing a locker room rant in place of on that mole. And Coach Clayton told me I could take his place when he doesn't get one into him in time. And I'm glad to be able to do it. Now, one thing I, I, I want to say is that I was reading the ESPN with Skip Bayless. He be arguing all the time with Stephen Smith, Stephen A. Smith, Stephen, Stephen A. Smith. And they had a thing in there, they keep talking about their Power 5 conference and all of that, and about the people that is going on that want more money for these for these players in college. I don't have a problem with them paying them guys. I really don't. I don't know a $2,000 stipend is what's going to do it. But Skip Bayless came in and said, just let the boosters pay for them, because they the ones that be doing all the illegal recruiting anyway. I really, that Skip Bayless fella just really be way, out there with some of the stuff he be saying. I, he really do, and I really don't know if I agree with what he talking about. Let the boosters do it. That just didn't make any sense. I had to read the article a couple of times. It's a long article, but I believe the players should be paid. I don't know how much they be paid, but I really don't think the boosters need to be the one paying them since they say they're the ones that doing the illegal recruiting anyway. They may be at some schools, but it's a whole lot of schools that they ain't making enough money to be paying nobody. But that's that that's my that's my locker room rent. And I hope Arnett don't do one next week so I can take his place again and I'll be studying for it and have a much better show. Thanks, coach. with two big Dream fans here. We're going to ask them about the game and what it is about the Atlanta Dream that draws them to come to the game. First, I want them to tell us who they are. I'm Christian Reeder. And I'm Courtney Reeder. Okay, tell us why you come to the Dream game. I just really like seeing girls out there playing sports and the representation of girls in big sports. I play um, volleyball, not okay. volleyball. Okay. And I play lacrosse and there's not a professional league, so coming out and seeing a professional women's league is just really empowering to see like you can like make it to the next level. What does it do for you as young ladies to see them play? Like, what does that what does that do? You're talking about empowerment. What does that do to you to be able to kind of makes me like persevere so that I can become professional, I can go bigger and better besides just the high school or the college league, that it I can really do something. Yeah, like she said, it's kind of just like motivation that you can really do anything you want to if sports or a doctor or whatever it may be. Even though it's just basketball, you can do whatever. Thank y'all. I have another young fan here, sitting here with a basketball gear on, watching the Dream. Tell us what it is about the Atlanta Dream that makes you come to watch the young ladies play. Well, I'm a huge basketball fan, and I play basketball myself, and I really support the basketball players. So. What does it do for you to see them play? Um, yeah, it definitely inspires me. I would love to be here one day myself. Okay, tell us your name. What grade you're in? Um, Kristen and 11. Give us your name, where you're from, and what it is you like about the Dream. Uh, Kenzie from Atlanta, and I play basketball, so it's just an enjoyable experience to come watch professional athletes play. Okay, what level?
school you play? I play college basketball. Where? Minnesota. But you're originally from Atlanta? No, I'm originally from Nebraska. I have a father here with his daughter. Tell us who you are, where, you, where you're from, and what you like about coming to the Dream Game. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm from New York. I have my daughter Zion with me. And we love coming to the game because not only do we support, but it shows women that there's nothing that they cannot do. And so we're excited. And also, the women play so hard. They almost play like amateurs in the sense that they're aggressive and they want to make a name for themselves. For, for that, we appreciate that and we enjoy that. Okay, and I also have with me Chris, his daughter. What, what do you like about coming to the games outside of the fact that you're with your daddy? Um, I like to learn more about basketball and it's fun. It allows you to spend some time with daddy. Does he buy you what you want to eat? Yes. Yes. Any time you spend with daddy is a good thing, right? Yes. Thank you very much. It um, it's good family entertainment for my kids, two years old and four year old. My four year old's up there sitting there cheering along. Well, my name is Marcus Green. I'm one of the vendors with the Atlanta Dream. It's great. It's great being here. It's a great experience being right next to the fans, seeing all of our different Atlanta area fans come in. We've had anywhere from Native Americans come in. We've actually just had Shoney Shimmel's grandmother come in and buy some of our merchandise. Oh, this is a great basketball team. Right now, they're number one in the East. You have to come and visit a game. It's the, one of the best experiences you're ever going to have. I'm Morgan Smith, and I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. And I like coming to the game because I'm, it's cool to like see what could happen if you work hard at your dream. So you play basketball? Yeah. And and you're in high school, college? I'm a freshman in high school. Yes. Uh, sorry. I'm a freshman in high school. You're I'll about be a what? Six one, six two? Yeah. I'm I'm an old women's basketball coach at Florida A&M <laughs> University, so I tell oh. heights pretty good. Yeah. And my, my daughter's about six foot, so that's why I kind of oh, wow. guess. What position you play? Uh, I play like a forward. You play like a forward. Yeah. They don't have you at the post, huh? Well, they do sometimes. I a four and a five. Just okay. Move me around. So you can shoot a little bit away from the basket, huh? A little bit. Okay. Well, that's good. Is that your dad over there? Yeah. Dad, we want to talk to you too. It's great. We take these, go around the country playing basketball, and this is a great event to get us out of the gym and actually get to watch other people play. So kind of a bonding thing. It's kind of pretty cool. Okay. So you're playing one of the AAU tournaments this weekend? Yes, we are. Oh, that circuit as well. Yeah. We just came from New Orleans, so I get them all mixed up. But you play hard every game, regardless of everybody else. Right? Exactly. Okay. That's the attitude you got to have. Thank you. We're right here in Atlanta Dream. We're meeting people from everywhere, all over the country. Stay tuned. We're going to be on on Monday night. Thank you. Tell us what people are missing not coming to see the Dream. They're missing a great show. You know, we got a great team, great coaching staff, and uh, great fans. Yeah, you know, we just ready to bring this championship home to Atlanta. But tell them who you are. I know, but tell them who you are so all your fans back in Rattleland know who you are. Jamal Brown. I to tell everybody a little bit about what the Dream experience is like. Hi, how's it going? My name is Amber. I'm actually a sales intern. I'm actually a sales intern here with the Atlanta Dream. I am a graduate of Florida A&M and I graduated the year 2009. I was actually a health science pre-physical therapy major. Um, this is actually my first season here with the Atlanta Dream. It's been an awesome experience. Awesome experience to grow professionally. This is a great opportunity to ask you to come out and watch some good basketball if you're definitely a sports fan. Yeah, I hope that you can see all you Rattlers out here supporting the Atlanta Dream and, and a fellow Rattler. We have one of the vendors here, two vendors here at the same place. They got co-owners here. And we're stopped them because if they had some legendary pound cake up here, I probably would have bought some. <laughs> but it's probably in my best interest that I didn't. I probably need not to eat anything. Yep. But I want the owner to introduce himself to our audience and tell and she pointed right at you. Oh, and tell it. the audience about your product and why you're here at the Atlanta Dream Day. Absolutely. Well, my name is Chef Milton. Uh, Milton Stevens. The name of the company is The Pound Cake Company. You can find us online at www.thepoundcakecompany.com All spelled out. Been in business over 15 years, sir. In the Atlanta community, we, we boast over 50 flavors of gourmet pound cake. And we're not talking your run-of-the-mill Publix Kroger pound cake, not that there's anything wrong with that, because they work hard too. But we're talking Big Mama, Auntie, Aunt Lottie, Mama and them from back in the day. So without a doubt, we are um, a throwback or, or, if you will, pay homage to our traditional heritage where we learned this recipe. We love to, uh, I bake it, she makes it look good as a team. Without a doubt, she'll push me in front of a moving train just to make sure we sell this pound cake. <laughs> We have a fan here. We stopped. I want him to tell you his name and where he's from. And, and the way people are looking at him going by, he must be a celebrity. Yeah, and see, I like that too. And he can tell us what it is he likes about coming to the Dream Games and why why everybody else should come out. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm Roy Williams. I'm from Savannah, Georgia. You know, uh, I bought my daughter 
I got my daughter AAU coach down here, Coach Jamon Cutter. You know, we down here just to show the girls, you know, the, how, how it is to play as a team. You know, what team basketball is really like, you know, the whole mindset, you know, on the fundamental of the game. I like how they play. You know, the fundamentals of the game is real good. Great family atmosphere, you know, and I want to go out there and put up a couple of shots myself. Uh, but you got a broke arm, so what are you going to do? I'm right-handed. Oh, okay. Well, that, that left hand being hurt don't stop yeah, nothing. It, it ain't going to stop nothing. See, that's what I like about it. ain't going to stop nothing. Coach, come over here for a minute now and, and, and tell us your input on it. Well, I'm just looking to see some good basketball. I'm a fan of the dream, and um, my daughter, she's a fan of Angel McCartney. So if you want to let her see her favorite player, you know, see how she uh, handles herself on the court. So it's a, it's a good experience for us both. Good okay. For us both. Well, daughter, introduce us. Tell us what your name is. And she looks so nervous. But you'll be fine. Just, just pretend you're with friends. And tell us what you like about coming to Atlanta and watching the game. Oh, this is my first time. So I really don't know. Oh, and I'm Jemiah Cutter. I, I don't really know. Do you talk out on the floor when Coach said you're supposed to be calling that pick? And to call yep. out that pick so you don't run into it? Yep. Do you call it louder than that? Yep. Okay. I coached at Florida a University. I'd have you. You'd have to run for me. Tell us your name. Jemaya. That's what I wanted to hear. Don't be afraid, pumpkin. Thank you. I have another basketball player here. He has a basketball shorts on. Tell us your name, what team you play for, and where you're from. Um, I'm Gabby Gurley, and I play for Midwest Takeover, and I'm from Ohio. Tell me what it is you like about coming to a WNBA game and seeing them play. Um, I like seeing what I can possibly do in the future, and like I just think it's really cool. What grade are you in? Seventh, going into eighth. And you're what, five nine maybe? Um, five ten. Okay. Well, she's starting young, but she wants to be able to be a player in the WNBA. We wish you much success, and thank you for interviewing. Thank you. Have a good day. Stay up to date with the latest from Insights. Visit our website at insights.com. Two eyes in the middle, I-N-S-I-I-G-H-T-S dot com. Insight, Insight Sports, Sports, Talk. Sports Talk. One, two, talk, and talk. Insight, Insight Sports, Sports, Sports Talk. Talk. Traveling the country for the biggest stories in collegiate sports. Bringing you the news that will impact every college athlete in America. From the Ivy League to the SWAC, Big Sky to the Big Ten, Notre Dame, FAMU, Miami or Maine, no university is too big, no college too small, we tell it all. Inside Sports Talk, with your hosts, The Coach, Mickey Clayton and Clayton Smith. They're bringing you insight on all the latest stories from all the biggest names in collegiate sports. Join us for the next 60 minutes for Inside Sports Talk. The sports talk show, the sports talk show of a different kind.